Alright. I say you catch the clipping pedal, can't even do it, look at the camera, I'm not ready to be on the roads yet. Anyway, Team Sky apparently, now I'm not having to dig at Team Sky. I rate Chris for him. We have Team Sky apparently, now I'm not having to dig at Team Sky. This is a dig at the trolls and the internet who write the articles claiming Chris Froome won the Tour de France in ketosis. Now, I rate Chris Froome, I said he's going to win the Tour de France and he did, just like I told you he would. Read Chris Froome's books, he loves the fucking carbohydrate, he's Kenyan. He was born in Kenya, in Kenya they have a lot of corn, in Kenya they carve the fuck up, they get it done. And Kenyans are lean. Chris Froome looks like a Kenyan mummy, because he's eating Kenyan fruit. Here's some weight saving tips for the people out there on the internet. Uh, it's all about weight. We don't really need a helmet because we're professionals. We can, we can throw the helmet down there. Actually, don't throw your helmet on the ground unless it lands in the book, otherwise it's going to damage it. The Bluetooth speaker you right with you, we don't really need that. Water. Water is weight. Weight is the enemy on the climb. Now, we've gotten rid of the helmet. This is just a foam mesh. This is will be UCI approved. Once the manufacturers back it, sunglasses is weight, but you need it for style points and for safety down the hill. There's a bug gets in your eyes. Socks you need because it just looks cool, and I'll run the mountain bike shoes because if you get if you fucking break your bike, your ex like Pinarello, you need some shoes to run up the hill with. So you gotta have some mountain bike shoes so you can fucking run up the bed too. And again, you don't need the water because water's weight. Maybe the squirt in the spectator's eyes get too close, sort of wet mouth. You don't, if you're drinking water, you're gaining weight. If you drink eight liters in a stage in Tour de France, you've gained eight kilos. You know, they love those eight kilos around. No water. You can have a bit of Sprite if you need it. But Sprite's got sugar, so not really. Because you don't need sugar to, to, to fuel the muscles. Sugar's a poison. Anyway, so we're going to have the Sprite can instead of the bottle, and it's going to save weight. We're going to cut it out like that. You, you basically, I'll bit this out. You know, where do you get aluminium from? So we bit it out, we're going to put that in there, you can drink some water in there, the spectator gives you a bottle, you can pour it over your head and say, cool, but don't drink it because it's weight. But then you pour a bit in there and it's going to lubricate your bottom bracket. Because when you're in ketosis and you're a Brechtarian, you're going to be doing at least 680 to 750 watts on the penultimate climb and the last climb. So you're just going to, if you've got a ceramic bearing to make it an issue, but you're going to be spinning that BB so much. We know Team Sky doesn't have access to ceramic bearings, so we need the water cooled. So the drill on the water cooled sprite can system, we pour it down there from the spectator's bottle, over the head down there, it's going to trickle down your bottom bracket, it's going to keep it cool. And that's how it's going to work. We're going to give it one more tip for the advanced runners out there. And if you drop it, that's okay, because they can recycle it later on. Someone's going to pick it up, provide jobs to the economy. We don't need it in the seat. Chris Froome needs to harden up. You don't need a seat. If you can run up the bronze food, you don't need a seat. Which Chris has proven his class. Sugar is good though. I should not smart. If you eat a lot of sugar, kids, don't do sugar because you end up as lean as me. By the time you fall. We're going to use a bit of biodegradable grease. This is some white light and crystal grease. I use this for my stages power meter. Not sponsored. We're going to butter that up. And then you can butter up your bagel. And if you need to sit down, this is the best position. It's ergonomic, it's natural. I obviously can't show it on camera because kids are watching, but the ISP seat post is what Pinarello is missing out on. They need to do the ISP, butter that bagel and plop it in there, and you are sore to get in to sit down. But it's a reminder that out of the saddle climbing is better. If, you do, if I'm doing 680 watts, 750 watts, my cadence is about 130 out of the saddle. And I can maintain that because I train that, and I don't eat carbohydrate. If you eat carbohydrate, you can't push 750 watts for 30 minutes. You just can't. So I drink coconut oil, I don't drink water, because water's weight, and that's pretty much about it. If you've got any questions down below, let us know. Definitely not trolling. Carbohydrates make you fat. Just look at Kenya. Look how slow their marathon times are. Too much corn, man. Too much rice and sugar. And bananas. You don't want to go near bananas. And Chris Froome won the Tour de France, didn't he? He'd won it. And he had cadence. He had cadence every stage, every metre, every climb. Even when he was running, he had cadence. How does that make you feel, all you grinders? How does it make you feel? I want you to get a piece of paper. I want you to write down your emotions. I want you to write down your emotions at 60 RPM, because that's not what you climb at when you're getting dropped by your mates who spin. I want you to write down your emotions. Tell me how you feel. Write down a piece of paper. Don't tell me now. Don't tell me now. Write down a piece of paper. Give it to your mum. When your mum comes in my house on Wednesday night, I'll read it then. Thanks. Science and sport to support them here. Each rider has a tailored diet plan that includes science and sport products for race and training days. And we spoke to Henrik Orr, their chef, at their Mallorca training camp, to find out a bit more about what the riders like to eat.
Well, we will be looking at some some something that not too, too heavy for your stomach, so steak wouldn't work, for example. And then we would make sure there's a lot of carbs ready for them. We always do. They always have a variation of four different carbs every okay. night, it's being rice, quinoa, potatoes, or pasta. The number one goal really is to replenish all of the carbohydrate that you've used. That's the, the first and foremost, that's what we're trying to achieve. Carbs ready for them, we always do, they always have a variation of four different carbs every okay. night. It's being rice, quinoa, potatoes or pasta. The number one goal really is to replenish all of the carbohydrate that you've used. That's the, the first and foremost, that's what we're trying to achieve.